All right, happy Monday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It is that time of the afternoon where you get to find out what's happening in the tropics. Of course, it has been super quiet so far this hurricane season across southeast Texas. We haven't come close to being hit by anything, and that is great news. We all know the types of devastation, damage, destruction those tropical systems can do. We don't want the major flooding. We don't want the wind damage. So this is a good thing. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this trend continues because day by day, week by week, month by month, we are working our way through this hurricane season and we are not that far from nearing the end. So the end of hurricane season is November 30th and we've made it to the middle of October. So we've only got about one and a half months left. Of course, the peak of hurricane season was back on September 10th. We made it through that just fine. And now we've made it halfway through October. Typically, if we haven't gotten hit by anything by this time, by the middle of October, our chances after today usually drop. They fall off pretty drastically. Notice historically, if we don't get anything by the middle of October, our chances of a tropical cyclone hitting us really start to decrease. But still, don't let your guard down. It's not impossible, but just historically, it really hasn't happened after today. In fact, the latest Texas hurricane strike was from an unnamed hurricane all the way back in 1912, so over 100 years ago. And this was an unnamed hurricane that made a landfall just south of Corpus Christi, and it was back on October 16th. So basically, October 16th is the latest that we've had reports of a hurricane striking Texas. So it's not that it's impossible, it just hasn't happened since these records have been kept after October 16th. So like I just said, the chance of us getting hit by a tropical storm or hurricane after today, fairly low, but this is what we're still concerned about. We've still got very warm waters out there in the Gulf of Mexico, those water tips still well into the 80s. So if we were to get something to develop, it would still have that energy, that fuel from those warm Gulf of Mexico waters to still get going, strengthen and possibly turn into something concerning. So we will be watching it closely all the way until the end. We may only have a low chance, but it's still a chance. And of course, you certainly need to stay alert. But we do not see anything heading our way at this point. That is good news. Just one system really that we are tracking out there right now, and this is Invest 94L. This is a tropical wave in the east central Atlantic. So nothing in the Gulf of Mexico, nothing in the Caribbean Sea to worry about at this point. But we do have this one tropical wave. You see the bright burst of colors there. Those are the showers and storms associated with this system. Notice there's not much organization with it. We don't really have a well-defined center of circulation. We certainly don't have an eye in this, but it is something that we're monitoring. Waters are still very warm in the Atlantic as well. And we are anticipating the threat for this system to become a tropical depression, tropical storm, and possibly a hurricane over the next two to seven days. In fact, you see the system is in the red. You see that red X there, that indicates where the tropical wave is located and it is moving to the west northwest. It should get close to the Lesser Antilles over the next two to three days. But it does have a medium chance to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next 48 hours, but a high 80% chance to form into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next week. So there's a high likelihood that this will likely be tropical storm Tammy as we go into the next two to seven days. Notice the path as well. It is pretty far south in the Atlantic, so it could potentially get into the Eastern Caribbean, but most of the models start to kind of curve it to the Northwest. It pushes it over parts of the Lesser Antilles and maybe close to Puerto Rico. Then it pushes it more off to the North and West. In fact, here are several of those computer models for Invest 94L. Notice that West Northwest work track for the next two to three days. And then as we get into this weekend, it likely will start to shift more to the northwest instead of west northwest. So I think most of the Caribbean may be spared, but it could clip some of those Caribbean islands. It could get pretty close to Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles. So of course we will watch it closely, but right now there is a high chance over the next week that 
will be our next tropical system. So we are going to be monitoring that one very closely. That is really it as far as what we're monitoring in the Atlantic Basin right now. But we've had enough tropical activity this season. We've actually gone through almost all of our names on our 2023 tropical cyclone names list from Arlene at the beginning of the season all the way down to Sean. And we likely will have Tammy in the next couple of days. After that, just two more names to go. Vince and then Whitney before we're all out of names. So it has certainly been a busy season. We just haven't had any of those hurricanes or tropical storms or tropical depressions head our way. Still plenty of warm water though out in the Atlantic to fuel these systems. And so we are still looking for the possibility of more of these tropical cyclones developing. We still have 19 named storms so far this season, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes, and that is above average, about five above average for those named storms and near average for the hurricanes and major hurricanes. At least we haven't had any of these systems blow up into major hurricanes recently. We did have three of those earlier in the season. Those, of course, are pretty damaging and dangerous, but fortunately, nothing like that right now, just that one tropical wave that will likely become Tammy in the next couple of days. So that will do it for your tropical update. Of course, things are kind of starting to settle down and wind down out there a little bit, but you still want to keep it here. We'll be doing these updates every single afternoon through the end of hurricane season, which does not end until November 30th. So you want to make sure that you're following it and make sure that nothing is developing out there that could head our way. You can keep track of it by downloading our Fox 26 weather app. You can get all of the tropical alerts, tropical updates if we were to get some locally, or you can keep track of tropical action in other parts of the country or the world. You can also get your local forecast, anything weather related on there, you can surely find it. Of course, you can track whatever is on radar as well. Nothing on there for us now, though. It is beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine. Nothing headed our way from the tropics. Get outside and enjoy if you can. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Make it a great rest of the day.